so I've had a lot of videos, or should I say a lot of comments about the Hive heating, especially the Hive Mini. Okay, so that's the original Hive, and it comes with the two buttons on the top, the boost and the heating, and the hot water. So you've got hot water, heating, boost buttons. Now this one is a dual channel kit. So when I purchased it, you get an option, single or double channel. The double channel comes with a receiver like that, i.e. two channels. And the single channel comes with a receiver with just the one. Now, depending if you've got a combi boiler or a system boiler, where you might have a separate water tank in an airing cupboard, all depends on if you need one of these or one of these. So, so for instance, we've got a system boiler upstairs, we've got a water tank. And just here is the two-channel receiver and that's just a complete central central heating system on and off so that receiver is wired into this boiler and it's also wired in to the servos for the um, heating valves upstairs so downstairs we've got this one this thermostat okay this controls the downstairs heating. It also controls the, the hot water. So if I want to turn the heating on downstairs, literally turn it to 27. It's a bit much. Obviously, it's 23 degrees down here because the heating's been on this morning. But yeah, 27. And then that will activate the green light on the heating side you probably can't see it very well but on this there is a flame for heating and a tap symbol for hot water they're both on at the minute but the hot water is automatically comes on and off not the heating the water so back here again so just bearing in mind i've just turned the heating on i want to turn it off Obviously, that's what it is, that's what it's going to reach. Just turn the nozzle, turn the dial, and then that heating light will turn off, and then the boiler will turn off. So, in here, you can see that there's a water tank, hot water tank, thermostat, and the pump, and then you've got three, one, two, three valves, automatic valves, all wired in to the wiring center, which the receiver downstairs that I've just shown you next to the boiler is also wired into. So when it calls for heat, to heat the radiators when you turn it up and down for the radiators it will open one of these two valves obviously downstairs will be the downstairs one and then there's a separate one up here which i'll show you in a minute for upstairs now the hot water even though if i didn't have the thermostat connected I could still use the downstairs thermostat on the wall to switch on and off the hot water. You can't really set the hot water at a certain temperature. I mean, you, you can do it up here because you've got the, the actual thermostat inside your tank. But all of this is automatic. So the hot water, once you use the water, it will drop down. Cold water will come in, 
and then the thermostat will kick in, activate the valve and the motor and the boiler all at the same time. That's all done separately. So I don't have to worry about that. That's because we've got a separate boiler and a separate water tank. It's not a combi boiler. So once again, upstairs. So this is the, the, the original hive thermostat that we've got upstairs. You can see there, there's no light on, only the status for the power, no, no heating light. If I want to heat upstairs, I'll just turn that to above what it is, 21. So I just turn it to 30. That'll click on. You can hear it. And that valve there, you can probably hear it. That'll open. And this pump will start pumping around from upstairs. Okay. So that's that bit. So that's pretty straightforward. If you've got a setup like this with your three valves, this is actually a zoned system. So it's up and down stairs plus your hot water. So it's zoned. It's not a combi boiler. It's, it's just a system boiler with a hot water tank and a zoned system upstairs and downstairs. You will need a thermostat and a receiver for each zone so this one and that one that's just for upstairs the double channel one that I've got downstairs with the two lights controls the hot water it's very very confusing um, and it's quite hard to explain obviously me trying to do this video still doesn't even make sense but if you just listen to it you might sort of get something out of it so at the minute Upstairs heat is on. Turn it off. And then that will just switch off because it's below its programmed heat. It will close the valve. And then the upstairs heat and off. Just bear in mind that the heat for the hot water, that's just controlled by this basically. When it gets below 60 five 63 65 this will kick in it will send a message to here that will open up the valve and open up the motor and then it will reheat everything that's in here via the boiler so this is where it gets complicated or should i say a little bit more tricky now because we've got a zoned system obviously this thermostat is for upstairs three floors we've got so I bought a hive mini and it came like this so you get the thermostat and a single channel receiver if you want to control your hot water and your heating and you've got a combi boiler this is the kit you need because you'll have a valve that will open. It will let the hot water to your radiators or it will let your hot water to your hot water or both. So that's how that works. Um, so all you need is literally just the mini kit. And if you haven't already get, got it, you'll need the, um, the Wi-Fi router box that comes with it um but i didn't i bought this for another room so you can actually buy these kits so if you buy that i think you can buy these on their own this will link up with the old hive kit so that can be in one room and that can be in another room upstairs and if someone wants to turn the heating down or off they can use that and then it'll override that one or yeah, vice versa you can use that and override that just in a different room not different the different um zones so i can't control the downstairs with any of these but it doesn't mean that you can individually heat each room because it's just literally controlling the heating from a different place without having to get up and walk so obviously if someone's upstairs on the third floor with that 
and someone's on the middle floor in bedroom with that, they just have to use this. You've also got to bear in mind that the whole of this works by an app. So you can control everything by the app. So, you know, if you've got four people in your house with phones, you could have four people with the app and you could all control the, the heating. But yeah, it's a, a tricky one because it depends on what boiler you got, what setup you got, and what you really want to do. But the ultimate question was, can you control the heating and the hot water with the Hive Mini? And yes, you can. You can control your heating and your hot water. You can't heat your hot water to say 40 degrees and use this to make it stop unless you've got some sort of other thermostat like I have which you can control the actual setting of heat before it trips the um, servo on the uh, valve but yeah you can either get it single zone single channel or the double channel where you get the two channels to control